click screen cam recording showing constant current bias uh, for a common emitter amplifier. What we have in this circuit here is a, a very simple design. We're going to look at how we can actually design this circuit. Okay, and we're going to start by uh, designing some certain parameters. So let's put some labels on here. So at the top here we have 10 volts. And as you can see here, we are designing for maximum symmetrical swing. So what we need here, we need half the supply voltage at this point. So that's VCC upon 2 equals VCE. Okay, as we're doing that, we know what the absolute voltage is here, VC. So we can now start to actually write out some equations because we, need, we know, already know everything. So if I just go down here, the collector load resistance is equal to one side, uh, which is up here, minus the other side, which is down here, VCC over 2. Okay, so there's our voltage across that resistor. And we know how much current is flowing because it says in the spec 2 milliamps. If I put 2 milliamps there, okay, so let's put some numbers in 10 minus 5 over 2, 10 to the minus 3. Okay, now if you do the maths, very, very simple 2.5 kilo ohms. Okay, there's our first start. So we've now actually designed uh, the value of RC. Now let's have a look at the base resistance. The base resistance here, this resistor, the supply voltage is still 10 volts, but what's the voltage at the base at this point? Well, we're going to go with an assumption, and we're going to say that VBE is 0 0.7. Again, the specification, the question says 0 0.7. So all we need to do now is to define what the value of the base current is. Well, we know what the collector current is, IC, was given in the specification, over here again. So IC divided by beta will give us the value of IB. So we can now write out the value of the equation for RB. RB is equal to VCC minus VBE, all divided by the base current. And the base current is IC over beta. Just tidying up that expression, I don't particularly like that. I prefer to put beta VCC minus VBE. I've put beta on the top of the expression, all over IC. Keeps it really, really simple. Put some numbers in. 160, 10 minus 0.7, all divided by 2 milliamps. And if we calculate that value, we will come up with um, 744K. Okay, there we go. There's our first design of a constant current bias system. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go slightly off page. Okay, I'm going to stop my recording of um, this particular feature and I'm going to flick over to AUCAD. AUCAD, I've put that circuit in. As you can see, I'm using design variables, design parameters. So this resistor RC1 has the design variable RC1 as well, and I've set it to 2.5K, and this one has the design variable of RB1. So if I do a quick simulation, I'm popping up my um, uh, simulation window, Windows 7, it pops up behind for some reason. I'm doing only a bias point, so I'm finding out where it's set. Click OK, click Simulate. Right, okay, the simulation window is behind the screen again as well, but if I now just turn on the voltages, and turn on the currents. There we go. We can see that we've got 2.081 milliamps flowing in the collector, and we can see that we are at 4.79 volts. So we're about 0.2 volts away from our target spec. And you can see that was very, very quick and very, very easy to do. So if, uh, we have designed a very simple constant current bias and it is close to our design spec. Let's just go back to uh, AUCAD. Okay, go here. Let's go back to um, our presentation mode. Remember, I always like to draw out a little chart. So if I draw out a little chart, oops, go back again. 
Here's my little chart. We can see that our supply line is at the top here, and that had a value of 10 volts. And we can put our little note down here. VBE was 0 0.7, so that was our bias. And we wanted our collector to sit right in the middle, so I'll draw a center line. So our collector can go all the way up to the supply voltage and all the way down to zero volts. Okay, so there's our bias. And that, in this case, is five volts. So that's the absolute voltage at the collector, which in this case is VCEQ. Voltage between the collector emittant as quiescent. Very, very simple design. Very, very quick to do. Let's move on. Let's do something a little bit more complicated because obviously that was quite a straightforward design. Okay, now in this design, we've actually got an emitter resistance. Okay, and it's got a value in this case, R, well, the name is RE2, and its value is a design variable RE2 that we're going to calculate. So again, we're doing exactly the same thing. Notice on here as well, we're ignoring VCE saturation. So we're going to ignore the full turn on potential of that, uh, tran uh, of that particular transistor. So <clears throat> let's start our design. There's one thing missing from our design on this one, and that is uh, VE should be equal to VCC upon 3. Okay, uh, that gives us uh, an actual value or a limit here, VE. Those are textbook values. Um, normally they say third of the supply. Some textbooks say RE2 should be one third of RC2. Um, they all work out sort of the same in the end. So let's just calculate. Um, so let's just calculate RE2, ignore that bit, so that's equal to VE divided by approximately IC, because we know what the collector current is here, IC, uh, we know basically what the emitter current is here. There will be a difference, but um, when IC is 2 milliamps and beta is 160, you've got very little base current. Put some numbers in. We've now got 3.3 volts, which is our supply, recurring, all divided by 2 milliamps, okay, which equals, in this case, uh, 1.65K. There we go. So there's our um, emitter resistance. So we can tick that one off. We've designed that value. Um, I'm going to draw a little sketch over here, okay, just to make sure we know what's going on. At the top of the tree here, we've got VCC. Okay, and when, we've, uh, when we're looking at VCC, that's at 10 volts. But we've now got a line down the bottom here, VE. So that's at 3.3. So that means the collector cannot go anywhere lower than VE. So if you think about it, the emitter here is at 3.3 volts. The collector can only go down to 3.3 volts. We're ignoring VCE sat. It will be a little bit higher. So we need our collector to sit somewhere in the middle of the supply voltage and VE. That would give us our maximum symmetrical swing. Okay. Well, if we do the maths, it's very, very simple. The midpoint value, let's call that term the absolute voltage VC, is equal to um, 10 volts, the supply voltage, minus uh, the emitter voltage, 3.3 volts. Okay, recurring all divided by 2, and then if you add back in the emitter voltage, okay, you will come up with a value of, for the collector voltage of 6.65 uh, volts. Okay, so that's where the collector should be sat. So if the collector sat at this value, let's put a little label on there, 6.65, we can now write our expression for RC. Our collector, the collector resistance is equal to the supply voltage, VCC, minus VC, the absolute voltage, divided by IC. So let's put some numbers in. 10 minus 6.65, all divided by 2, uh, 10 to the minus 3. Okay, we do that. We end up with uh, 1.675 kilo ohms. Okay, there we go. We've now got our collector resistance designed. Last thing to uh, calculate now is RB. Let's just do a little bit of maths. 
We know the value of VE, 3.3 volts, and we know the value of VBE, 0.7 volts VBE. So if I label the base as VBB, it's 3.3 plus 0.7, so it's 4.03 recurring. Okay, so we've got our voltage at the base, VBB. So we can just write out RB. In this case, RB2, of course, these all should have twos on them. RB2 is equal to VCC minus VBB, all divided by IC over beta. Okay, put some numbers in again. 10 minus 4, I've just did an approximation there, divided by 2 times 10 to minus 3. Okay, and I'm going to put beta up on the top there, like I did before, 160. Okay, and we end up with 320 kilos. Okay, so we've done the second uh, wire system. Let's escape from uh, our presentation. Let's go quickly, going quickly to AUCAD. Let's scroll over here. I've already performed that design. And as you can see, we wanted it at um, six point something. And we're a little bit further away from our design spec this time. RE2 look minus, uh, is uh, it's not quite at uh, our 3.3 volts, but it's close. We can see that we're not quite running on a collector current of two milliamps. Okay, and of course that has turned the transistor on a little bit further. So instead of sitting at 6.65, we're sitting at 5.5. This is typical of, uh, of design, where you put the numbers in, you put the values in, and you get close to the specification. What you might want to do with the tool now is to alter the value of RB2, make it a little bit larger. If you do so, this voltage uh, effectively, or the amount of current that's flowing in here, will drop. So you won't be putting 15 microamps in, which will then uh, reduce the collector current, which will then put the, co put the collector, the absolute voltage of the collector, slightly closer to the spec. Hope you like this screen cam. It's a way of designing circuits uh, for constant current bias.